What if I told you that living in Las Vegas is not all about the glitz and glamour? I wanna share with you some of the challenges also of living in Las Vegas. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, so that you are notified every time more real videos about Las Vegas come out. Challenge number one is the summer weather. Yes, it can get miserably hot, but I always relate this back to my clients who are moving from the Midwest or the East Coast of the country where in the winter time, you wanna stay inside as much as possible because you have the heat and you don't have to go out in the snow. Well, it's the same thing here in Las Vegas. In the summertime, stay in the air conditioning. Even if that is doing grocery shopping earlier in the day, you are going to really appreciate getting all of those errands done in the morning in the summertime. Challenge number two is road construction. We lovingly call all of those orange cones that you see when they block off the streets, that's actually the Las Vegas state flower because there are so many of them all the time. And you never know from one day to the next where they're going to be. It's always a surprise. But if you can survive driving in Las Vegas, you're not going to mind the road construction because it's bringing all the new areas of town together. Challenge number three are the drivers. If you have driven in Las Vegas, you know that there is no such thing as a merge on the freeway. People are in it to win it when they are entering the freeway. A lot of times I really do think that it's because we have a lot of tourists who are driving on our roads and they're looking out their window at the lights that are everywhere and they're pointing out different locations that they want to visit. So keep in mind that if you move here, you may really get mad from time to time about the drivers on the road. I'm curious, what are some of your non-negotiables when looking to move to a new city? Make sure you leave them in the comments below. Challenge number four is that you will probably need a car to get around. If you're coming from somewhere where there is a lot of public transportation, you are not going to find that we have the best public transportation here in Las Vegas. So if you are looking for a place that's a little bit more walkable, you're gonna be restricted to only a few areas of town. But if you're fine with having a car and driving around the city, you can generally get anywhere in Las Vegas in about 30 minutes. Challenge number five. We have quite a few planting restrictions, and that is in your home backyard or front yard. So right now, the only type of landscaping in a new construction home that you can have is desert landscaping. And the water district will actually pay you to take out your real grass and convert that also to desert landscaping. But if you try to change it back because you change your mind, then you will owe them whatever that money is that they gave you. So make sure whatever you're going to plant here that you know that you actually have permission to do so. If you're new to my channel, my name is Eileen Gilbo. I am your local Las Vegas real estate advisor specializing in helping people relocate to our fabulous city. Please make sure that you subscribe so that you get updates every time we upload a new video. Number six is watering restrictions. We are leading the way in water conservation on the West Coast. We are really proud to say that we have done a fantastic job, and by we, I mean everyone in this city. We have cut down on how much we can water our yards and our plants, the size of the pools that you can build, 
that is also restricted as of now because we want to make sure that the water that we have available to us is here for decades to come. Challenge number seven is public schools. We have the fifth largest school district in the country. And with that does come problems that a very large school district would have. So you are going to want to look at all of your options such as private schools, charter schools, homeschooling, if you don't like what you see in the public schools. But keep in mind, we also have some very highly rated public schools in the Las Vegas Valley. So you can always find a great school, just depends on where you want to live in Las Vegas. Challenge number eight is we have a housing shortage. Not unlike everywhere else in the country, the builders cannot keep up with the demand of people moving in. So if you are looking to move to Las Vegas, make sure that you start your search sooner rather than later, because if you see something today that goes on the market and it's in a great location, it has a great interior and it may have a pool, those homes are going to go quickly. So don't wait if you're looking to move because the housing shortage does not look like it's easing up anytime soon. It's pop quiz time. So do you remember what our state flower is? Is it a rose? Is it maybe a cactus? Is it a hibiscus? Or do you think it's the orange construction cones? Leave me your best guess in the comments below. Challenge number nine is our car insurance rates. They are higher than many areas of the country. I recently talked to somebody who lives in Hawaii. Our car insurance is three times the amount that it is in Hawaii. And why that is, I'm assuming that a lot of it does have to do with the tourists and with the transient nature of people moving in and out of Las Vegas. So, no state income tax, but you are going to pay more for some things like your car insurance. Challenge number 10 is the wind. And yes, we can get some tree branches knocked down. It might even mess up your yard a little bit. But if you're coming from areas where you're looking at hurricanes and tornadoes and all of these natural disasters that actually cause people to lose their lives. We don't have that here. So I'll take a little wind anytime. For more videos about relocating to Las Vegas and real estate tips, make sure to watch one of the videos on the screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.